Australia's brutal second wave began as a ripple, a ripple in the shape of one unnamed family who arrived in May. Infected with coronavirus, they quarantined at the Ridges Hotel in Melbourne, one of several the government is using for international arrivals. Weeks later, Victoria declared a state of disaster, putting 6.6 .6 million people on lockdown. Thousands of cases and hundreds of deaths since May. Genomic sequencing has now linked 90% of new cases in the state back to that one family of four. It is uh, likely that the large majority, I said in my statement, approximately 90% or more of COVID-19 infections in Victoria can be traced to the Ridges Hotel. Epidemiological evidence makes the damning conclusion a months-long battle against the virus in Victoria may have been avoided if hotel quarantine had done its job. Victoria's premier, Daniel Andrews, says the buck stops with him. He's established a judicial inquiry into what went wrong. Returned travelers will appear at the inquiry on Thursday. They've already spoken out about what they think was the problem. The security people. The people that should have been looking after us. Yeah, yeah. They went wearing masks. Um, they would sleep on the ground and, and... Quite often they wouldn't even hear us open our door um, because they'd have their earphones in or be on their phone or, um, you know, talking with another security guard, having a laugh. It just seemed the whole idea of the hotel quarantine seemed like a joke. The inquiry has heard security guards contracted to enforce the quarantine were not properly trained. An online course security staff took indicated not everyone needed to wear a mask to prevent COVID-19. Guards were not told they should always wear correct PPE. That was all it took for three workers to get infected, spreading it through the state. In terms of chain of command and who's responsible, I think I've made myself abundantly clear today about the way I think that operates. It stops with me. I'm accountable. I understand that. I have every day that I've had the honor of having this job. Uh, I've never moved away from that, not one inch. Uh, I understand that to be the case, and that's why I've set up an inquiry to give you the answers that I want and that Victorians are entitled to. The inquiry will publish its findings in November. Until then, Victoria remains in the grip of the pandemic as deaths mount each day.